what's going on everybody welcome back today we are hauling some stuff for the oil field we're down here in beautiful oklahoma and we are going to be hauling some stuff well back from a recently constructed oil barrack area they had some rather large pieces of equipment out there for the construction of their new oil site and they're finished with them so we are hauling them back into town as always if you guys enjoyed today's video then make sure you like and subscribe for more content in the future we're pulling into town now so we will see you guys when we get to the distribution center all right we have made it to the distribution center let's just pull on in park our truck and our semi should be all ready good to go and there she is the old kenworth semi this is a day cab with a low boy trailer on the back this old kenworth happens to have a big cummins engine in it so this is going to work really well for us today all hooked up ready to go let's go ahead and just hop inside fire it up so we're gonna get to rolling and head on up north it's gonna be north part of the county is where they have their oil refinery right now or actually it's not a refinery to correct myself it is merely a drilling site there are two pieces of equipment that we're gonna be hauling today and excuse me for not really knowing the names of them but one of them is the big old uh like earth mover like dump truck that you're you, you're you're used to seeing the big classic one the other one's more like the uh, Volvo, uh, you know, I don't know what they call them. If I messaged one of my friends and asked them, because he actually drives one in real life, he'd probably be able to tell me, but they're the ones with the articulated middle. If you guys know what they're actually called, then make sure you put it in the comments down below. That way I can educate myself. And that way, if anyone who's watching the video is curious as well, they'll be able to find out. We're going to pull into Love's here. I don't know if that's the one we're supposed to pull in or it's the next one down here. They don't really say. But we need to get some fuel and I want to get some coffee to start off the day here so we're just gonna pull in right it nice and easy trucks straight okay i see it looks like trucks get to go in right here we're just gonna shoot right down the middle and we will take these pumps right here so we'll get fueled up and while that's fueling up we'll run inside and get some coffee oh one big paycheck later and we've got a deal of fuel we've got some beef jerky and a coffee so let's fire up the truck and let's get on down the road and we are pulling right on out of loves and we're just gonna take the interstate right right up here we're right near the on-ramp and this is gonna take us right on west to our destination we are gonna have to go a bit north yet but we do have a long ways west to go so we will catch you guys once we get to our destination here a little trip on the interstate and we will be there momentarily we're just gonna pull right on in nice and easy now they don't have that quite wide enough but what we're gonna do is get ourselves turned around here and faced the other way before we even attempt loading up and right behind us there you can actually see one of the pieces of equipment that we're going to be hauling on out so i suppose this will be the one we load up first since we're right here next to it so let's just back ourselves up into a position to load it up nice and easy all right we got the track or the trailer rather prepared ready to be loaded we're going to hop up onto the komatsu now and we're going to get this loaded up onto the trailer on back on out of here but i think right there is going to do we're going to shut it down hop out and we're gonna get uh ratchet straps and start to strap this sucker down here and now we just have to back right on up and connect back to our trailer then we'll put the air back into it lift it all up and get on down the road all right i think we're all loaded up and ready to roll so we are going to just do one final check over everything's looking good and we are going to hop back into the truck now and get to rolling so let's put her in gear and hit the road shall we we've got load number one ready to roll and we are headed on out of here we're gonna be taking it we could take a right technically but i think it is gonna be faster for us if we just go ahead and take a left so let's go ahead get on out onto the road here nice and easy there we go and we are gonna get rolling back on towards town we got to be careful about the route we take with this load it is oversized it and uh, we do have a low boy trailer so we got to watch ground clearance height clearance and overall just weight limitations of various roads we're coming up to a stop sign let's go ahead and start to slow down here nice and easy there you go come to a stop nobody's coming and we are gonna take this left hand turn right here make sure we can fit up underneath everything let's watch the 
that right there we go i think we're gonna sneak right on underneath it everything seems fine so far we're cutting it a little tight on this turn we might end up nicking this pole i'm gonna have to hit Ooh. all right let's back it up we're not gonna make that and now we'll try and accelerate right on through and swing it wide there we go trying to keep those rear tires on that pavement as much as possible preferably one of my front tires as well but that is gonna be so so close Woo! oh we're sneaking by it we are yep all the way off in the dirt though to do it all right we got up underneath it we didn't hit anything we didn't take anything down we made the turn didn't get stuck i suppose we can call that one a success Woo! that was a tight turn all right we're coming on up to our next turn we gotta slow this thing way on down here there we go and let's watch see if anybody's coming looking clear there looking clear there that's a rare opportunity and we are gonna take it let's go ahead and swing or what oh oh oh, oh well, what i say about ground clearance oh no oh boy come on can we back up off of it oh this is gonna be a problem i think we have got her we've got her grounded oh this is not good oh we got it stuck uh-oh well let's turn on the four ways i suppose looks like there's a truck coming right there hopefully he slows down and doesn't hit us this is uh oh and you two hit the brakes hit the brakes there you go well i suppose the only responsible thing to do is to call a, a tow truck and the uh local police that way they can get out here and kind of manage traffic a bit just so they know that there's this major highway all shut down because of my dumb dumb so We'll get all the people called and everything sorted out so we can hopefully get out of here in a timely manner. Well, we're still waiting on the tow truck, but as you guys can see, the uh, local police department and sheriff have come out to block off the road to stop these people while we wait on the tow truck to show up. So we'll just keep on waiting, and I wonder if maybe... No, no, it wasn't back here. It's definitely... I got stuck right there. Yep. All right, guys, so the tow truck has showed up now. Hey, hold your horses. And uh, I know what y'all have been thinking this whole time. Why don't you just unload the trailer and then pull it through so the weight's off of it and then reload it? And the reason is because we are not legally allowed to drive that on the public roadway. For proper weight distribution, it needs to stay off the roadway. Well, at least on the way its tires are set up, it needs more tires underneath it, if that makes sense, for weight distribution. But that's all right. We will get this thing figured out, and the tow truck will get it pulled on out of here, and we'll be able to get on down the road. All right, guys, I think we finally got it all unstuck, and we've got it all disconnected now. There is so much traffic built up. Look at all that traffic. Wow, holy cow. All right, I just checked over our load. We are all good to go. So we're going to get to roll in here. The cops have opened up traffic now. We got to watch that as we're driving on through. And uh, tow truck drivers just pulled off to the right there to finish. Watch out, car. Oh, holy cow. So we had a bit of a setback, but overall, it all ended up working out in the long run. We're going to get this on down to town. We're not too far away, just about six to eight miles is all wow buddy and we will get you all when we're there stop Ooh. oh i had to slam on the brakes boys i don't know if i'm gonna make that clearance that sign hangs lower than the actual bridge we can clear the bridge but i don't know if i can clear that sign oh boy we're gonna have a problem number two right here fellas look at this we're not gonna clear that sign we're gonna have to knock it a little bit is that on chains nope it is steel rod oh boy well let's see here just look in that sign is pretty well over the road but i we, uh, no i'm not gonna be able to squeeze it over here far enough to get on that other side am i oh you've got to be kidding me oh and there's a car coming is there i don't know let's try backing it up here real quick and we're gonna see if we can sneak around that sign this is gonna be a problem if we can't nobody's coming from the other direction so let's swing her all the way over this ain't gonna happen y'all i can tell you right now this ain't gonna happen come on swing way over there get that right on up and up next to it oh and I, and, hey we might actually be lower over here oh we are it's lower over here we just barely fit underneath it yeah oh that is some ingenuity right there y'all all right i think we got on through it this one ought to be fine that well yeah that one looks plenty fine oh yeah Woo! all right crisis number two has been inverted it is this has been one heck of a drive i'll tell you that much 
But like I said, we'll be back in town here just shortly. So we'll catch you all once we're back and getting this thing unloaded. All right, we have made it back into town and we're just going to swing right on into our yard here. And that is going to be it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. We have one more yet to go and pick up. So if you want to see us do a second run of this with that other uh, load that we have yet to pick up, then let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace. Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching. Kill the lights, I'm your assassin. No sleep breaking.